Yo, what's good peeps, as we're pretty much in the month of February 2019, let's take a look at the PS Plus lineup. Starting from the 5th of Feb, you can show your colours as Knight, Viking or Samurai in the massive battles and intense duels in For Honor. Now I already own this game on the PS4 and also on my Xbox One and whilst the game didn't really hold my attention for long periods of time whilst playing it, this is definitely still a fun game especially when you've got your friends to play with, so I personally do suggest for those who never got around to grab in this game to definitely download this one. with that all important PS Plus membership will get a chance to eliminate targets as Master Assassin Agent 47 in the award winning first season of Hitman. This is a phenomenal Hitman game when I say so, trust me, I think a lot of people did actually sleep on this game and whilst probably not the greatest Hitman game in the series, it's still a game that I believe you should play. This game to me really revived the series and set the tone for the recently released part 2 and is definitely a game I think all gamers should have in their collection. Yo, PlayStation 3 and PlayStation VR owners can get some full action in the 2D competitive fighting game Dive Kicks. Now I'm not gonna lie, from the look of the trailer and some of the gameplay footage that I've seen online, this game does look a little on the cheesy side, but might give me around 10 minutes of entertainment. And as we're drawing closer to no more PlayStation VR or all PS3 games included on the PS Plus lineup, then why not maybe add this game to the library? <laughs> In the month of February 2019, PlayStation 3 owners with the PS Plus membership can download Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Now while this game is over 10 years old, putting all the cutscenes to one side, this game is definitely still a classic from the PS3 days. I'm sure most of the PlayStation 3 owners more than likely already own this game, but if you don't, it's definitely a great title to add to your catalog. <laughs> Available on crossplay on both the PlayStation 4 and PS Vita is Gun House. Now, Gun House is a part puzzle, part active tower defense as you make big combos to launch a haul of bullets and special attacks at the alien invaders who would like nothing better than to consume your delicious orphan friends. Now, this game does look like an addictive type of game, but at the same time, reviews suggest that it does like content, so I suppose it might not have the longevity, but probably still worth a test run. Last but not least is Rogue Aces where you take down waves of dastardly enemies in this endless emergence of air combat roguelike where nothing is the same twice. Now this game isn't going to win any game of the year awards from me personally but it still looks like mindless fun and to me that's never a bad thing. All in all, I don't think it's a bad month for PlayStation Plus games for the month of February 2019. I personally own all the big games such as For Honor and also the likes of Hitman and I still have my physical copy of Metal Gear Solid 4. So for someone like me, there's not really much for me personally to look forward to as obviously I own some of those big games. But at the same time, for someone who hasn't actually had the opportunity to get around to playing some of those big titles, I do think overall it is definitely still a pretty good lineup. Anyway peeps, what you make of February 2019 PS Plus lineups? Anything here that tickles your fancy or is this yet again another poor lineup from the PS crew? As always, if you did enjoy this urban gameplay video, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so before and until next urban gameplay video, we definitely say peace out peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.